A man is in jail tonight accused of real life violence against a local man he encountered during a video game. I'm Tanika Hughes. And I'm Ben Becker. John Bachman has the night off. The Nassau County Sheriff's Office says 20 year old Edward Kang beat a man with a hammer and now faces attempted murder charges. Action Jack's Ben Ryan is live. Ben, the sheriff says Kang flew from New Jersey to commit this attack. And Ben, the sheriff said this serves as a reminder of potential real world consequences from online interactions. From New Jersey to Florida to jail. This is a weird one. Some things make you say, hmm. Some things you just can't make up. 20 year old Edward Kang is a gamer and now an accused criminal. He's facing murder charges after Nassau County Sheriff Bill Leeper said he flew to the Sunshine State and tried to kill a man with a hammer and it was all over a video game. This is where we live. The two played Arc Age, an online fantasy game. When the suspect was asked why he did what he did, the suspect stated that he is a bad person online, talking about the victim. It's known as a massive multiplayer role-playing game where gaming experts like Mark Ronan say it's an ongoing experience with quests and adventures. People just really enjoy their time spent in the game a lot more than whatever they have going on in real life or yeah, however you're represented in the game, you can kind of be whoever you want to be in a lot of ways. Action News Jax learned the game's services are ending in just three days, according to its website. It's unclear what happened online between the two that led to this, but Sheriff Bill Leeper said that the suspect flew in, then stayed at the Ocean Coast Hotel here in Fernita Beach, and then attacked the victim at his house on Sunday morning. A police report said he went to use the bathroom. When he opened the door, Kang was there and hit him several times with a hammer. Investigators say the victim's dad heard screams for help and they were able to wrestle Kang to the ground until deputies showed up. Sheriff Leeper said Kang asked how much time he'd spend in jail. Mr. Kang, it's going to be a long time before you play video games again. And the victim has since been released from the hospital and also according to Sheriff Bill Leeper, the suspect is currently facing attempted murder charges and it's possible that those charges could get upgraded. For local coverage, you can count on I'm Ben Ryan, Action News Jax. It's very strange. I mean, can, can you imagine getting that upset about something to the point where you hop on a flight, book a hotel room, and go to a hardware store to purchase a hammer and show up to somebody's house who you don't know and you try to ba bash their head in all because you you thought they were a bad person online. I mean, I don't know. It's unbelievable, but there are people like that in this society. Uh, in this society. I mean, if, if there wasn't, these stories wouldn't exist. And I'm surprised that this guy didn't get smoked because this is Florida. You know, that was Florida where it happened. And, you, you got to have some balls of steel to show up to somebody's house armed with a hammer and you know, try to take them out. I mean, you know, people people talk, you know, they go back and forth with each other all the time. There's nothing new online, whether it's on social media or online gaming. And some of the things people have said, because I, I used to be a, I'm not going to say a gamer, but you know, I, I've been online and I've gamed online before. And uh, some of the things that people say, they just say it. And you got to understand, people say things online uh, when they're comfortable. Um, and, you know, you, you just kind of just, you don't really think of it as anything. And you don't think that it's going to end up like what happened in this situation. I mean, most normal people would just ignore it or, or block the person that they're having some kind of issue with, which in this case, we don't know what you know, what was said between the two online or whatever, but uh, it you just don't go to nobody's house and try to take them out. And here's something else, too. Um, why are people not locking their doors to their homes? I, and I say that because in the video, they didn't say how the guy got in, but I went and looked up some other stuff on a different report and uh, found that the guy got in to the victim's home through an unlocked door. Yeah, I know a locked door is not going to, um, it's not going to be like a hundred percent guarantee. That doesn't mean that you're going to be safe, but, uh, I think a locked door will buy you some time to do whatever you need to do to prepare to defend yourself. Um, but you, you want to make it, you want to make it hard for opportunistic criminals 
to to get in, you know. And um, yeah, this dude Edward King, I mean, he yeah, he had every opportunity to to call this thing off. He had every opportunity to cool off. I mean, he had plenty of time to just say, "All right, I'm not going to do this." I mean, he could have stopped before he purchased the plane ticket. He could have stopped before he got on the plane. And even after he made it down to Florida, he could have stopped and found something else to do since he was already down there. Um, maybe do something like go sightseeing, go to the beach. And, and if he was still, you know, that upset about whatever happened, go to the gym, hit the punching bags, lift some weights, let off some steam. But don't go to somebody's house and try to take them out. So thankfully, the, the victim is still here and he's doing well because, I mean, this this could have ended just I mean, this could have been horrible. And, and, and thankfully, the guy's father was there, and he was able to help him out. So make better choices. Stay out of trouble. And, uh, yeah, don't don't show up to people's homes and w- with hammers trying to take them out. And, and also lock your doors. Peace.